Hi people, this is Indio from PRGV Entertainment. Welcome to the Blender tutorial number 14. Now this tutorial is only a simple and basic tutorial asked by a lot of my subscribers that they want to know how to export uh, an animation as a movie file so they can use it for intros, cinematics and stuff like that. So this is going to be really simple. I'm just going to show you how to export the file but be before that I'm going to create something simple so we can make it look good. So. Let's delete the cube, let's add a plane, and I'm going to scale this really big. There we go. So now I'm going to add a material. It's going to be a diffuse color. It's going to be orange. There we go. So now I'm going to rotate the plane. Rotation for the X, 40. So now I'm going to put it back, pull it back so I can see the grid, the complete grid here. Deselect. Now I'm going to add a text, pressing Shift A, text. I'm going to rotate this for the X, uh, 90. There we go. Now I'm going to scale it a little bit. There we go. So now I'm going to add a material for this. And I'm going to choose a color. It's going to be red. There we go. So now that we have already inserted our text, our material, I'm going to edit this. So I'm going to put here www.prdb.com. Uh, that's the website is still working on that. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry guys. This, the website is still under <laughs> development construction. My bad. So now uh, we need to extrude the words here. So we're going to the F here. That's for the text. And now uh, let's extrude. There we go. On the materials, I'm gonna pull up the energy a little bit. Intensity. There we go. And let me render this so I can see how it's going on. Okay, the light, I have to move it to the front and now to the left here. I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to render it again because so I want to see how it looks. And for the light, we need to we need to make, uh, maybe to pull up a little bit more the energy here. So, I'm going to pull it at least a two. There we go. Okay, that's better. So now, uh, the next part here is we are going to use our timeline. And the only thing that we will make in animation here is only going to move from right to left. And it's going to rotate from left to right. It's only the camera. So choose your camera. We need to create a keyframe, so we're going to use our timeline for this animation. And the the animation, like I said, is only moving the camera from uh, one side to one side to the to the other side, and rotate the camera from left to right. That's all. So first of all, our keyframe has to be on the first one, the number one, where we start. I'm going to put this on the end of the keyframes only on 50. I'm going to use only 50 frames here. So the first frame let's insert the keyframe here pressing the i on the keyboard and click on locate rotate scale that is rotation location and blah 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 so as you can see we have a little yellow line here that's the keyframe so uh it's telling the, the software that the camera on the first keyframe is going to be just the way it is right now on the position that it is right now so now we need to choose the frame for us, which frame is going to be creating the animation. So I'm going to choose maybe on the frame 25 that the camera is going to move from right to left. And after that, uh, rotating at the same time that it's moving from right to left, I'm going to rotate on the C minus 90. There we go. Let me see where. Okay, so we gotta move it a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. So now we're gonna insert the keyframe here the same way. Insert. I'll press in the I on your keyboard. Locate, rotate, and scale. And now I'm gonna turn it uh, until it goes right into the middle here. So I'm going to put this on the middle. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Don't do that, don't do that, no. Okay, so now I'm going to put it right here in the middle. Let me choose the middle here. There we go. Now I'm going to rotate the camera again 
for the z only 40 minus 40 so it goes oh my bad no sorry uh rotate the z 40 so we can see just right into the middle just like that so but i can't see the complete text so i need to pull it back there we go a little bit to the left there we go and now i'm going to insert the keyframe so locate rotate scale there we go so now we need uh, let's let's test it out first so that is what's going to do now let's see it from the inside there we go so that's the animation that's the way that's going to be exported so now we need to export this and for that you need to go to your scene properties here on your right and you're going to be rendering as an animation but before doing that you need to choose which type of file you're going to be exporting if it's going to be uh, a graphic file or if it's going to be a movie file and for that you need to choose from your output here you need to choose if it's going to be a movie file which uh, movie file is going to be which is uh, extension you're going to use so I'm going to be uh, using only AVJPEG so uh, also you can uh, choose which folder do you want to export the file so I'm going to leave it on, on the temp folder that is right does re uh, right directly there on the Z on the C uh, hard drive a partition my bad from my windows and now that I have already set up for the export now I'm going to click on animation so we can export the file as an AVI file so from here as you can see on the timeline is running every frame is taking a picture of every frame after it finishes it uh, takes all those pictures and just unite them all and it creates the movie file with all those pictures inside so you can view it as a video so my bad that I'm uh, taking a little bit long with this tutorial but it's the correct way to show you guys so you can understand what exactly uh, am I doing and how exactly you're gonna be doing this also so it takes a little bit long to export everything to render the file but at the end it's worth it so yes it's gonna be good so now that it has finished exporting our file we need to find a file I already have a folder here and it has exported the file here as you can see on the C temp folder that is where exactly it has exported the movie so now let's open the movie up there we go full screen well guys uh, there was a simple video like I told you guys it was only basic stuff uh, guys come on if you haven't subscribed subscribe uh, just stay tuned for new videos coming up another tutorial is coming up is the Unreal Engine on how to import your character with animations so for this tutorial it's gonna be three videos uh, one video is how to make the character it's gonna be really easy so you won't be using your blender to create your own character your own mesh all uh, you know part by part so we're just gonna use a simple software that's called make a human is open source it's free to use and this software creates the human uh, completely with everything the way that you want the human it doesn't have clothes so those those things you need to add them later but it gives the bones and everything so you can use it uh, for the animations if you're working on the blender or, or 3ds max or any 3d software that you have so the second tutorial is going to be on blender how to import it on blender how to make the animations and everything and which properties you need to work on blender so you can export it uh, as an fbx file and it can work on the Unreal Engine because Unreal Engine needs and specific properties from this to let the mesh import, to let the character get inside the engine. So the third tutorial is the one that we'll be using the Unreal Engine to import the character and show you guys how you can add the animations at least for your character to walk around the map. Well guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. If you like the video, please hit the like, write a comment if you need anything else. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.